All right, welcome to the Robert Show. Look who I have with me, Ori, uh, the CEO of uh, Upsolver and CTO, Yoni. Welcome Hi. to the Robert Show. Awesome. Uh, so I'm here at the Chill Data Summit and I've seen some interesting announcements that you all have made. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the audience would also love to know a little about that. Uh, first of all, uh, what's the vibe of Chill Data Summit? Uh, and what do you feel about uh, being here in New York? Yeah, very. It's, it's very exciting. I think that it's a big, uh, the first big Absolver event. Also, Iceberg is a, a big change to what Absolver is doing. And yeah. it's an exciting time. But look at the list, list of speakers. Everyone that's doing Iceberg is here. It's all star lineup, I would say. Yes, yes. for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, just for our audience, would you like to introduce yourself? Let us know more about Absolver and uh, about what do you do at Absolver. Sure. And I'm Ori, I'm the CEO and co-founder of AppSolver. I'm, I would say, a data guy coming from a database background. And this is how yeah. I met Yoni, who introduced himself. Hi, I'm Yoni, I'm the CTO and other co-founder of AppSolver, and I'm a data guy from a database background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm more on the technical side of things. Fantastic. Uh, also, that brings me to another important question is around the Chill Data Summit announcements that you all have made mm -hmm. today. And uh, I'm pretty sure the audience were keen to wait. I have a blog that I will be attaching to our uh, interview as well for them to have a deeper look into it. But would love to hear from you all about the announcement. Sure. Um, so I think three major uh, three major announcements one is first of all AppSolver now supports iceberg AppSolver is an ingestion platform mm -hmm. so we support iceberg as a target and basically it becomes kind of the foundation of what we do so every all data coming into of, into AppSolver is going to be stored in iceberg tables you can create additional layers of that and then you can export to additional systems AppSolver nice. has always been built on a data lake but now it's built on a data lake that's iceberg so that's, mm -hmm. I would say, the first big uh, change. And maybe I'll tell Yoni, I'll let Yoni uh, tell you about two additional announcements that are just for Iceberg. Yeah, yeah so, so the first thing that we're really excited about is the decoupling of the data lake management services and the data ingestion services. So it used to be that you would need to, when you ingest data into the data lake, then that data would be kind of, not in a proprietary format, it's Parquet and it's open, but but you needed to only ingest data from Upsolver. If you were to add more data to that table, then Upsolver wouldn't know about it and, mm -hmm. and, and things would start breaking down. Now with the introduction of Iceberg, the ingestion layer is completely uh, separate. So I can ingest data into Iceberg. It doesn't even need to be a table that Upsolver created and it'll just work seamlessly. And on the flip side of that, Upsolver can maintain a table that, that no we did not write the data, we did not create the table. So you can actually take Upsolver's data management tools, which have existed for a very long time on top of Upsolver managed tables, and you can apply those to any table you want. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. Um, so having that very um, uh, disconnected uh, version of Upsolver that you can have uh, ad hoc uh, table optimization, including monitoring, including all the supported features kind of that Upsolver would usually give is super exciting to me. Yeah, I, I love all the details that you've shared, Yoni. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, and then the last thing is that, so so when you're ingesting data, that's pretty easy because you know it's a, you, you know exactly what you need to do. You need mm -hmm. to get data from point A to point B. Um, if you're um, doing optimization of, of a data lake, then then what's in it for you? Why are you doing this? I mean, exactly. you might experience that 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 queries are slow, or or maybe your costs are getting higher. So mm -hmm. so there are a lot of reasons to get into this, but it's usually very fuzzy. And so the second announcement is that we're releasing an open source service, uh, an Upsolver diagnostics tool. Uh, sorry, an Iceberg diagnostics tool. Mm -hmm. Basically, you can run it on any Iceberg data lake. And it'll just tell you, it runs on your computer in a few minutes, and it'll just give you a report of this is how optimized or not optimized your tables are. This yep. is how much storage yep. you can save. This is how much time you can save per query in overhead just because the tables are not efficiently uh, set up. And basically, if you were to run Upsolver's optimization tool, you'll get these optimized numbers. And today, you're getting these unoptimized numbers. And the bigger the difference is, obviously, the more value you're going to get out of it. Yeah. That's something that you can run. Uh, in order to understand how far are you from optimal with your data lake. Yeah, that's uh, pretty interesting. In terms of uh, just, just on building up on that itself, uh, why Absolver now when we're just, you know, uh, it's all about iceberg. 
what's your take on that, uh, Yoni? Well, I think that you know, Iceberg is is a table format. So it's True. it's extremely important to have a consolidated a single table format. It's very good that the industry is consolidating around that, but it's only one part of the puzzle. So you want to have a data lake that works. Yeah. And getting to the point where the data lake works, it requires all of the infrastructures and then it requires maintenance. So these things come together. Yeah. I think that as data lakes get bigger, as more data gets ingested and as data lakes become more uh, more let's say central to businesses, uh, the maintenance matters more. And Upsolver gives you that very easily. Yep. So from our perspective, we're extremely excited about Iceberg, and and we think that the service that we provide on top of Iceberg is is necessary for as data lake scale, as they become more production. Yeah, no, I love it. And uh, Ori, anything that you would like to add? <laughs> anything that I would like to add? Uh, no, I think you only cover that we should remember the vision. The idea of Iceberg is to make the data lake as easy and performant as the data warehouse. Right. It's still not easy to do that. Iceberg gives us the standards. I think that Absorber can give you the implementation mm -hmm. to deliver on that uh, value. And of course, time. <laughs> and time will help us get there as well. Yeah, exactly. One more. One more quick question I have for uh, Yoni is around how can you help the community with Iceberg? Like, what's your vision there? Yeah, so I think that Upsolver, since forever, has been very focused on streaming data, streaming data at large scale. That's kind of what we do, what we do best. And Iceberg is, doesn't have in any inherent limitations that would prevent it to work with streaming data, but it's not what they do best. It's not the reason anyone wrote Iceberg. The people who use Iceberg today tend to be doing batch. So it's not like, it's not obvious that it would work well. And I think that we, as, as a platform that deals predominantly in streaming data, ran into a lot of these limitations yeah. as, as we were going through adding support for it. And also going forward, we have customers that deal with huge amounts of data. And so, um, so having that experience and, right. and going kind of like crossing those bridges and feeling them buckle and reinforcing them as we go, mm -hmm. I feel like is going to be very important to trailblazing into faster and faster use cases and larger and larger use cases. So in that sense, we're very excited to contribute to the open source, uh, both Iceberg and query engines, in order to make sure that, that these use cases, which were not pioneering, a lot of people do them, but maybe we're pioneering on top of Iceberg, um, are going to be much better supported. Okay, that's awesome. And, uh, Can I add something to that? Yes, sure, please. So today, and you should really watch that session. There was a session by an AppSolver employee called Jason Fine, one, and he basically described all the open source contribution that AppSolver has been doing uh, lately. He showed like, how you're t taking a query that used to run for five and a half hours on PrestoDB now runs for 39 seconds. Thanks. Right. Same on, on Trino, and also how he's going to contribute a streaming API into Iceberg, showing an 8x contribution to performance. Those streaming contributions, Yoni described it in his session today, the chicken and egg. People don't use Iceberg for streaming, but it, and it's not built for streaming, so what, <laughs> what's going to be solved first? So probably, I hope that those contributions to, to kind of make Iceberg a better fit for streaming, those would come from AppSolver, both on the query engine side and on the Iceberg side. Yeah. I think that's a great point, uh, Ori, that you've made. And uh, definitely, uh, for our audience, what we've done is uh, made sure that Chill Data Summit is also available on demand. So for every like all the fun that we are having here, they won't be missing it. Uh, we'll have that in on demand and I'll sh be sharing the link uh, with them as well so they can attend it later once the sessions are done too. Obviously in person is more fun. That's what I always tell people. But then uh, yeah, commitments kind of sometimes don't make them travel like places. So y'all can watch it uh, like the whole Chill Data Summit uh, uh, in the coming week. Uh, I'll share the link with you all for sure. Uh, one last question for both of you. If uh, people want to reach out to you, uh, learn more about, obviously, AppSolver, Iceberg, uh, anything around data, which is the best platform to reach out to you all? Uh, Ori? So there is the... There is the AppSolver Slack channel, what we answer it. There's yeah. more community. Yeah. But other than that, you know, there, are, there are a lot of architects in AppSolver. Go talk to them. Tell them about your use case. I think that's the best way to, to understand how we can help you. Exactly. Yoni, where, where can they reach out to you? Yeah, so I mean, you know, I'm deeply involved in all sorts of customer use cases. So I'm 
I'm definitely available to hear about interesting use cases and, and questions around what will work and what won't work and things like that. And, uh, and yeah, you can find us on our website, upsolver.com, send us an email, book a demo, all these things, all these channels. Uh, we're a developer-heavy company, yeah. so we're really technical, <laughs> and, and most of these things are going to reach, um, you know, solution architects, which I'm very much involved in, development team, which I'm very much involved in, so, so I'm definitely going to be there. Uh, it's going to be fun, for sure, and uh, thanks for sharing this, uh, and thanks for, you know, coming on The Rabbit Show. It's such a pleasure to host you both, Ori, Ayoni, uh, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more developments in 2024 for Absolver. It's a great start to the year already, uh, but looking forward to sharing more details with our community out there. And uh, guys, you all can have a deeper look into uh, the announcements. I'm going to share the blog with you all. So thank you once again for watching, and thanks once again. Thank both you of very you. much. Awesome. Keep doing the great work at Rabbit Show. Thank you very much, Ori. Yeah.